What's up, gang? It is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and we are revisiting our Google Pixel 4, taking a look at the features that we loved the most when we reviewed it, and kind of talking about which ones we'd love to see Apple steal for the upcoming iPhone 12. So here are our top five, six features we want Apple to steal for the new iPhone. Starting out with the matte sides of the Pixel 4. It's a little bit hard to tell far away, but even though this one has a glossy back, the other ones do have matte backs, which looks great. We do prefer that on the iPhone 12 or the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, but we wish we saw was the matte sides. So the matte sides of the Pixel 4 look absolutely great. They have a great feel to them. They don't get so fingerprinty like the iPhones do. The stainless steel bands around the iPhone, they feel nice, but they're so glossy that they just so show fingerprints like none other, especially on that space black version. So we'd love if Apple would come out with the same stainless steel bands, but slap a matte finish on them instead to match the backs of the iPhone 11 Pro. Next up is that 90 hertz display that we have in the Pixel 4. So the Pixel 4's display is pretty great. There's a lot of really nice stuff here. But the one thing that we like that we specifically want Apple to steal is that 90 hertz refresh rate. It's not at 90 hertz all the time. It drops down to 60 when you're doing things like reading or nothing that's kind of moving on the display. But if you're scrolling or doing anything that kind of has a, a lot of motion to it, it kicks up to 90 hertz and that looks pretty significant. When we're comparing the two side by side and feeling them, the Pixel 4 just feels more smooth and immersive than the iPhone does because you can tell that you're kind of flicking around on a display where this one feels more natural. Now, Apple already has 120 hertz displays in their iPad Pro, so we'd love if some of that tech would come down to the iPhone 12 Pro or iPhone 12 Pro Max, something that makes it, again, a little bit more of a Pro display, separates it out from the base iPhone 11 or base iPhone 12, and it just has a nicer look to it. So 120 hertz or 90 hertz display, something we'd love to see on the next iPhone. Next on our list of features we want Apple to steal is the onboard assistant. So Google Assistant on the Pixel 4, a lot is actually processed locally on the phone itself and not sent to any servers. Even things as complex as transcriptions can happen directly on the phone. Now, whenever you converse with Siri, it has to take what you're saying, it sends it to the cloud, it's transcribed on the cloud, sent back down to your phone, then the action is carried out, sometimes having to go back to the server to carry out that action. So if you're doing even basic things like setting an alarm, opening an app, uh, toggling an AirPod setting, anything like that requires going up to the server and you need to make sure you have that active internet connection. It's definitely a pain in the butt, and we think it would speed up the entire process, it'd be a little bit better for security features, and you just don't have to rely on anything else to get stuff done. You don't have to rely on sending stuff to servers. So for the next version of Siri on the next iPhone, we'd love if a little bit more was done locally on the phones to speed things up and not make us worry about internet connection or internet speeds just because we want to set an alarm. The next feature that we want to steal would be Motion Sense. So Motion Sense has a lot of Pretty cool things. So you've got your Pixel 4, uh, it can be laying down on the table and just as your arm approaches it, it'll automatically see that and it'll start scanning for face unlock. Even though Face ID may be slightly faster by itself, face unlock feels way faster on the Pixel 4 because it's already unlocking and scanning before you've even picked up the phone. It makes a huge difference in day-to-day -day use. We wish Apple would do something similar to that. There's other features of motion sense that we like as well, using that radar in the front of the phone. Things like muting alarms or phone calls just down a little bit when your hand reaches for them. Apple does similar stuff now with your face on facial recognition using the true depth camera system, like dimming the display when you look away for too long. But we wish Apple would do a little bit more. They've got the true depth camera system there. They can already kind of detect motion around your phone. They just need to be a little bit more preemptive in what they're doing, muting phone calls or doing other changes like that. We don't need swiping through the air to change through music tracks or photos or any of that nonsense. But some of the other features are genuinely nice to have and we'd love to see them on a new iPhone. Relating to motion sense would be bypassing the home screen. So on the Pixel 4, when you unlock your phone, it automatically just kicks in. We can see right now. I don't have to do anything. Okay, it's already mucked up for the video. But whenever I go to unlock my phone, the Pixel 4, it'll automatically unlock and head me straight to the home screen, never sitting on that lock screen. And we really like that. It's a nice simple thing and it makes unlocking your phone feel even faster because you just pick it up and you're already on your lock screen ready to do whatever you want to do. I don't look at my lock screen that often and I really just want to get to my home screen and that swiping gesture just to do that seems cumbersome. 
it seems faster by far on the Pixel 4 and more seamless experience. So we'd love, even if there is an option to sit on your home screen or your lock screen if you want to, we'd love if you could just pick up your iPhone, automatically unlock and send you to your home screen without any fuss. Lastly, the last thing that we want Apple to steal for the all new iPhone would be that higher resolution tele lens. The Pixel 4 only has two cameras on there, a wide angle lens and a tele lens, but while the wide angle lens is the same 12 megapixel as Apple's, the tele lens is a beefy 16. That 16 megapixel make a big difference when taking uh, telephoto shots. And if you compare them side by side, an 8x shot on the Pixel 4 versus an 8x shot on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, there is a huge difference. It looks so much better here on the Pixel 4. And part of it is the AI that they're putting behind it. And part of it is just a higher resolution sensor. The telephoto shots, you're already zooming in with that telephoto lens. I can zoom up to 10x zoom on my iPhone, but it doesn't really matter if it looks like garbage. So we'd love to see a higher resolution telesensor on there. We don't need it on the wide or the ultra wide because we're not zooming into those shots. The ones we do zoom in on are the ones with the telephoto lens, and that's the one that Apple needs to increase the resolution on instead of sticking at 12 megapixels for yet another year. So on the new iPhone, definitely beef that up. So that pretty much covers it. Those are the features that we love on the Pixel 4 that we'd love Apple to steal for their upcoming next generation iPhone. Let us know down below in the comments which of those features that you like that Apple should steal, or if you have a feature that you wanna see on the iPhone 12 that we straight up just didn't mention. Let us know down below in the comments, or you can reach me directly on Twitter and I'd love to talk to you about it at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys wanna see and follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.